drawing a vase and flowers. I'm going to start with my paper uh, portrait and about middle I'm going to add an oval. So here's the oval. And then you can erase in an ovalish manner on the inside and then um, on the outside as well. I'm drawing fairly light so that I can watercolor this after. What you want to do now is make sure that the center is underneath your nose. So I'm just going to flip this for a little bit. And I'm going to draw right in the center. I'm going to draw a line down the middle, up and down, up and down. So it kind of tells you where I'm standing. This, this line here is right underneath my nose right now. So I'm just going to curve this. And then from here, I'm going to same thing. You want the you want this to be straight. You want this um, this line to be underneath your nose. Very important. Same as the other the other lines we're going to draw. So the other ones we're going to draw. We're just going to right in the middle. We're just going to go back and forth. And then on the right, we're going to go back and forth as well. And you want it to be about the same size. So about the same size same size and then um, the bottom one we're just gonna make it so that it's about the same size you can make these lines smaller why don't we make them smaller in this case but I made these two you want these to match you obviously want these to match and so these two and then these two match and then now all I'm, all I'm going to do now is connect so I'm gonna connect and connect. I'm curving in, slight curve in, and then I'm going to curve in here too. Curve in. So there is my curve in. So now I don't need uh, my guidelines. I can get rid of these. And if you're drawing light, should erase easily. If not, then maybe um, expose your lead a little bit more. I'm going to draw a flower. So the one way, there's so many, 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 many ways of drawing a flower. But this is one of the easiest ways to show my students. So the, it would be to draw a heart. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just any type of heart. And then you're just going to add ears to your heart. So here's one. And then here's the other. Now, when you're drawing the stem, you want to go over the, the top line and under the front line. Now, if you happen to go through, it's okay. You can always just go back and draw a line over this. So let's draw the other flower. So the other flower, you start with the letter E, lowercase e. So there's my lowercase e. Make it a little darker so you can see it. And then I'm going to begin wiggle, wiggle, stop, wiggle, wiggle, stop, wiggle, 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 stop. And you just keep on going whatever size flower you like. I'm going to stop there. And same thing, I'm going to go over the top line, go under the back line. I'm going to add some leaves, some long leaves for this one, some shorter leaves for this one. And there you go. Now we're ready for watercolor. Now you would want to make this a lot lighter before you watercolor. Um, I'm going to make it a little lighter just to help me out. Otherwise, if you're using dark colors, it won't matter. But if you're trying to leave the glass um, to be a glass color, then um, you most definitely need to make this a little lighter. So make it even lighter I always say if you hold if you can place your your paper to the side and still see it it's probably too dark so so I think that's as light as I can go so I'm gonna grab a thin brush where's my thin brush I think I'm going to start with this brush 
Oops. Okay. So I'm going to start with this, give you an idea of the size of my brush. It's even smaller than my pinky. So pinky nail. So any color you like, um, because the book has them in purple, we're just going to go for purple. And it's water, right? Water, color, napkin. So if there's nothing on the napkin, it tells you there's not going to be any color on your paper. So I'm going to bring this in a little closer so you can hopefully see water, color, color, napkin, and then outline. So I want more control, so I want less water. So I'm going to go ahead now and outline my heart. And then it's water, napkin, pull. There we go. I leave a little bit of white. It's okay. Now the ears. So I'm going to go water, color, napkin. And I'm going to go napkin one more time because I want less water. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the ears, water, napkin, pull. And so that's that. Let's go to the next flower. It's like a red like a off red water napkin watercolor napkin sorry and then it's too much water I want more control so I'm just gonna outline right now so I'm gonna just outline just outline my pencil lines and so now it's just gonna be water napkin but just very little water because i don't want to lose my line so i'm just gonna pull in one section at a time so that i don't lose my lines that will work for me water napkin i'm gonna go for my green any green let's see okay so i'm just gonna come down over my vase over my vase under my vase under my vase and I'm going to outline my leaves and then in water napkin pull 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 and I I accidentally got these lines to look a little dry that's okay it'll make it look better once I I draw I draw the vase now you have to be careful, you have more control when it dries. I can go around right now, maybe draw the outline. So with watercolor, you gotta move around, you gotta keep moving around. So I'm gonna keep going. Um, some people, when you're looking at a vase, a clear vase, you see, um, some people see blue, especially if there's water in it. Others, when there's no water, or very little water, you'll see that the vase, a clear vase is uh, gray. It's gonna go for blue. So I'm gonna go for blue. And I'm just going to outline with the tip of my brush. Just going to outline. And hopefully not make a mess. So that'll work for me for now. I'm going to turn this around. So I'm trying not to cover the camera. And then I'm just going to pull in. Just drag this color down. And then... Just move your paper around, stand up if you need to. And so there it is. I could probably add the waterline right now. It looks maybe down here. Up here it's still a little wet, so I'll just make the waterline there. And then at this point, because this is dry in here, I can go ahead and get some water, napkin, and kind of drag some of this color. I want to leave a little bit of white. And in some of these little white areas too, I can just add a little bit of, little touch of color for now. Once it's dry, once I know this is dry, I can go over some of those lines. But in the meantime, let's work on our shadows. So um, it looks like the darker side is on this side. So I'm just gonna say that my light's on the right side. Oops, I'll just use this shell here as my source of, of light. So I'm going to shadow the opposite side. Let's see. So I'm going to make, this is already darker, but underneath this 
the heart is overlapping on this petal here, the heart-shaped petal. So I'm going to make this a little darker in here. Okay, so I'm done with my... And now for the flower, I'm going to make this side a little darker, this petal darker, because there's less light. So it'll be a little darker on the left side. And same thing for my vase, it's going to be darker on the left side. So here we go. Hope you're enjoying your book. Feel free to contact me on Instagram. And so now I'm gonna, right now it's the floating vase. So I'm just gonna add, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add blue. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add blue. And I'm just gonna do the width. So the width, I think I went over the width, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna go with here. And because we said that the sun is on this side, I can actually take this out a little further this way. And then with a the larger brush, um, larger brush meaning, let's see, um, larger brush about now the size of my pinky here, water, napkin, and I'm just going to pull water, napkin, and pull. And I can drag it down or drag it more to the sides. It's up to you. If it's a table, you can just drag it. But the darker area would be underneath the actual object. So this is the darker area. Why? Because this is sitting on it. So now I think, oh, let's do the green. I haven't done the opposite side of the green darker or the leaves. I'm gonna go for some dark green. I'm going back to the, the thin brush. So now that I have a green that I like, so the, the napkin allows me to remove water, check color, check how much color is on there. So I'm gonna do the opposite. And the opposite side is gonna be a little darker too. And I can blend this in more if I like. Underneath my flower, it's gonna be a little darker, right? It's, it's casting a shadow. This um, flower is, is is having making this a little darker because it's overlapping. And then what else is overlapping? This is overlapping on here. It's going to be a little darker too. Um, what else? So this leaf is next to the, the stem, so it's going to be a little darker there. Um, this stem and this, um, and this leaf are next to each other. So when you have two things next to each other, you're going to have a shadow. And I think that's good. If you want to go back and, and make those lines, like those blue lines, a little, which is water, and you want to go in just a little bit of water and, and kind of move these lines around so they're a little straighter, you can do that. And then if I want to make these a little nicer. And then I can blend this in a little more, more too if I like. So I can go from dark, medium, light. I could do that. Same with the leaves. I can go from like this dark and then blend it in so I have like a dark, medium, light. It's up to you. It's all about style and, you know, you're I'm making a decision as to how dark the room is. And then I'm going to turn this because it looks like I got a little bit of my vase on top of my on top of the stem so I'm gonna go over it and I'm gonna straighten the stem out too and so I think that's good enough so quick um, drawing a vase and flowers and adding watercolor and some shadows